Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Jade and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Jaden, aka Jay, and I am a plus size fashion style and tips and also home decor channel. I am super excited because this is my first ever house that I've ever purchased and I am currently decorating for the fall, for Halloween, and eventually gonna transition into doing Christmas content as well. I'm super glad that you are here. If you've not watched my previous videos, I'm just gonna do a quick little recap. I am currently decorating for Harry Potter. That is my theme, not only for the fall, but also we're gonna transition it over into the winter as well. So I'm super excited. I know in the previous video I did little snip clips of a little bit of simple when it came to Harry Potter I'm not gonna do like a full like antique like over the top Harry Potter vibe my theme is more like the symbolism that it represents such as the sign that is outside of my door such as the mat that I have and just such as also my potions bottles that um little area in my kitchen that I showed in previous videos but today 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 we are getting into the area that I'm currently in and we're gonna get into the dining room. So you guys, do you kinda know what that means when I say we're getting into the dining room? We're gonna do the thing that I've been excited for and been waiting this whole moment, my whole entire life to do, and that is the floating candles. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, but we're about to get into this. I also have to clean up my house. I just came back from vacation and let me tell you, I have stuff everywhere. Clothes that are just literally need to be washed. I don't, like my guest bedroom, you guys have to show it to you. I'm kind of embarrassed. Guest bedroom, hot mess, <laughs> honestly. So without further ado, let's get right into this video and let's clean up this house and let's get it, you know, season ready, Halloween ready. Let's go. So I'm gonna start this video off by cleaning up my kitchen. I left so many dishes in the sink and I just piled them up in my dishwasher. If you're traveling out of town, make sure you do your dishes before you leave. I am always a procrastinator. I'm like, it, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be there when I get back. And I normally have to come back and clean it all up and then it's just a huge mess. But yeah, just take my piece of advice definitely wash your dishes before you go on any trip i'm gonna tell you this now but then the next time i go on a trip i'm still gonna have dishes pot up in my sink
let's do a little catch up of things that I bought to make this project happen and also things that I did not show you that I've updated since the last video. So I got on Amazon and I bought these LED window tape taper candles and I think they were like 20 something dollars each. I believe they're 20 something dollars each. I will link them down in the description box down below. I know that I bought the last three set of these, but if they have a restock, you guys can hit that notice if you want the exact same ones that I got, but I'll also link a similar one and similar ones that I think will work for you in the description box down below. So I got these and they look like this. And they also have a remote to go with it. So all you do is just like, they do not come with um, batteries. So you can buy double A or triple A batteries and they go at the bottom of here and then you just close them up. And then this little button at the bottom turns it on. You stick it back in this little container, this holder. And then this is not the one. This is the one. Um, and I have three different ones. So I bought three different um, boxes because they come in a set of six. So it's a six pack, but all three of these remotes control all of them. So just conserve battery. I did not, I'm not gonna open or, um, open these up. I'm just gonna use one of them until this one dies. And you just turn it off, you turn it on. You can even control the brightness of it. So I can turn it up. I can put a timer on it. Um, I can make it look a light or I can give it like the flicker candle looking vibe like that. Um, so yeah, so these are amazing. I also bought these command hooks. So they're clear. So you guys can see that. Come on, focus. Focus for me. There we go. A little bit, <laughs> not really. So I bought these command hooks. These were about $5. They're very clear, so I'm hoping that it will help with giving that floating candle effect. And then I also got the OmniFlex uh, fishing wire. And this was like $2 from Walmart as well. So clear, hoping that the wire won't be able to show that much. So we'll see, we'll see. I've never done this before. This is literally trial and error. I've been watching enough TikTok videos. I've been watching enough YouTube videos. So we'll see how this goes. Another thing that I bought from Walmart is this Halloween mist maker. I was looking at this online and I was looking at this online for like two weeks ago because I wanted one for my cauldron. And I saw one on Walmart. I went to the store here. They didn't have it in stock. I was like, mm, I might buy it later. I don't really feel like purchasing it now. I could be saving money on other stuff. But then they so happened to have it in store and restocked it when I went in today. I was only gonna get two things, the things I previously showed you. But then they had this and I was like, hmm, that sounds like fate to me. So I went ahead and purchased it and I hope it works. This was $13.84 before tax. So you guys, I hung one of them, one of them down, 18 more to go, get at you girl. So you guys, please pardon my actions in this video. As you saw, I literally just got done washing the dishes and my hands like turned to white. Please don't mind that. But anyways, I'm basically tying the fishing string to the bottom of the candle. I found that was more proficient to me because the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to stick that bottom end back into the little candle holder itself. And then I'm hoping that it will stay and that I'm able to hang them up that way. Honestly, I had to go to the store, which I'm going to mention earlier on, because I forgot that um, some of these didn't really stay and that this is two separate pieces and that the candle holder did not actually hold the flame. So you guys will see what I'm talking about in a second. But yeah, that's basically what I did. So then I took the two ends of the string and tied them together on one single command hook and that is basically how I placed them together when putting them on the ceiling. 
When you're doing this, it's important to remember that when you're cutting the string, that you cut it at different and various lengths. So you have the up and down pattern of it being unequal because that is what makes it look more off authentic i did not measure any of this string out i just winged it and it turned out pretty well you guys will see at the end what i'm um what i'm talking about but it turned out very well so just make sure that you're cutting um some long some short some medium size and that you're just being very cognizant of that So I finished stringing up most of these, but one thing that I did not think about is that when you string them up from the inside, that the outside won't stay on. For like some of them, it'll stay. But I guess the other ones, the measurements are a little bit wonky. It's so like this one, this one is staying. But when it comes to a few of them, they kind of just like, let me show you a good one. They kind of just slide out, like when I'm trying to string it up. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see, but keep on focusing on my face. But anyways, it just kind of like slides up when I string it up. So I'm gonna have to go get some type of glue to keep it in here. So I'm about to hit up Dollar Tree real quick and see what they got. Let's hope for the best. So I did wind up going to Dollar General and finding some super glue. Sorry, I did not film that for you guys. But what I wound up doing was just getting the hot glue, the super glue and sticking it inside of the actual candle around the corner so it can harden up. And then I eventually stuck the metal piece back in. So it kind of kind of stick to there a little bit or at least harden up on the sides so where it could not fall off. And that worked for me. Um, I did have a couple of them that kind of fell. Um, it was only like one, but then I just super glued it back on and then it stuck. So that is pretty much what I did. If you just like wiggle it a little bit, if you're worried about changing the batteries, I'm pretty sure that you're able to do that since um, I didn't put too much in there. So if any of the batteries need to be changed, I'm pretty sure it's not a problem um, because I didn't put that much super glue in there. And sometimes this Dollar General Super Glue doesn't hold anyways. So, long story short, I believe that I'm able to change the batteries. But I'll keep you guys updated if I have any trouble doing that. Because they didn't have a hot glue gun. And I was over it and I just wanted to get this thing done and over with. Sorry for the rant. But, yeah, I just like, I want to put these candles up. I don't want to like going to Walmart. Hate going to Walmart. Don't want to buy a glue gun. So, I'm just going to use this cheap $1 and something super glue that was my train of thought for that day so it literally took me from like 12 o'clock when I started this project to 6 o'clock at night almost seven o'clock to put all of those um candles up on my ceiling when i tell you this was an all-day project if you're doing it by yourself at least that is the um case with me you are definitely going to need an extra set of hands if you're not trying to spend all day stringing those things together and putting them up on the ceiling literally took me all day now i am trying to create the mist and see if the walmart mister that i bought worked when it came to this it needs a small bow like the mist that i created was not very big so what i did was i got some of my container wear my food container wear um is glassware and i put it in the bowl so I stacked up my Tupperware and I put it in the cauldron and once it was stacked up high enough I put the mister in and that is basically how I created the effect. Whole bunch of water, super heavy, let me tell you guys that, but it created the more of the effect that I was gonna try and go for because I did not like it when it was just a little bit of this. I said this has to be like a hocus pocus type of thing, super misty, that was my goal.
So y'all, that is the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe down below. And also make sure you ring that bell so you can stay updated on all the new videos that I have coming for you. I'll catch you guys in the next one and until next time, bye.